I'm loving the confidence of other people who are so much sure that you know what Dutch is making will come. And that there are certain programs or TV shows that literally can't go by without them mentioning Duchess Megan in it. Because tell me why there's this one person who's very much sure. On my side, I'm like, you know what? It's it's his confidence for me. Because it's like he knows Megan like no other person. And he was live and he was like, you know what? Take my words. And I'm like, mm, okay. Maybe he has a memo that we don't have. But either way, I hope you all are good. Just allow me to play you a short clip whereby this was a whole discussion going about at Talk TV. Um, I personally think she's going to not come because obviously Prince Harry has lost his case with the Home Office. And as he said, he doesn't feel safe bringing his family over. And I also think this is probably going to be a time where actually the distance between the Sussexes and the royal family will be calcified because the focus will obviously be on the Prince of Wales and the King recovering. They don't need the whole Netflix drama. And obviously it was quite telling that they didn't tell uh, the Sussexes of Princess Catherine's diagnosis. I think that's quite indicative that, you know, th they just need distance for now. Mm. I don't think she'll come. I, I, I really don't think she'll come because I think you've nailed it. She's just not interested in being tabloid. I mean, she's tabloid for her anyway, anyway yeah. whether she's here or not. Like, hundreds of articles yeah. written a day about she absolutely nothing. And we know this. I'm exactly. I mean, I do too. Yeah, yeah, you know, this shoe size. She can't be feet. Can I just yeah. say, but I think, ladies, mm -hmm. she is coming. Okay. She won't. <laughs> Megan is coming to town. She, like, she will be there. She's she not going to miss this. For love, no money, Meghan Markle, this will be the most. She stayed away okay. for lots of other sort of minor visits mm. that Harry has made. She sort of made it clear that this isn't a place she wants to come back to. I promise you, big event, global cameras, in and Victor's a big games. moment in Victor's Games. Meghan Markle will be there. Yeah. Come yeah. out on my Times Radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What, what time time you have a Times Radio show. Now, so, all guys. You can express sorrow and surprise, as would millions in the country, because nobody listens to it. I'm not surprised and I'm like, you know what? It's the confidence for me. It's the promise made of the image he created of Megan. It's him acting like he knows Megan personally than any other person. I bet he himself is going to be attending that event now that he's very much sure. And you know what? That's just Megan will be coming. And I love the fact that, you know what? They waited there for one to start speaking for the other one to join. But while the two guys or the two girls were kind of talking, they all were silent. But the rest had to come in after their spokesman made it clear that, you know what, Megan will be coming. I'm like, these people are missing out a lot. The last time I checked, Duchess Megan was there during the lad Queen Elizabeth's burial. She missed coronation. She hasn't visited there ever since. She didn't, you know, accompany, you know, the husband to the travelist event that took part last year. She has no reason for a comeback. Those are some of the things that they need to understand. He got, she got no business with them. She has no business with them. That's one thing they need to know. And I'm like, I'm pitching them so much because they're so much desperate wanting to see how they're smart. And I love the, the point whereby those girls were like, whether she's around, she's not around, it's always her in over 100 articles. Trust me, on that 8th May, she'll still be the one trending. Just because she didn't come, she didn't make an appearance, she didn't kind of, you know, Come with the husband and whatnot and what forth. Those are going to be the stories. And I'm like, just get ready for it. The haters, the derangers, the British media outlets back in the UK are just exposing their desperation one after the other with this whole uh, Harry, Harry's visit to the UK for the 10th anniversary of the Invectors. It's just basically them showcasing their desperation. And I'm like, you know what? They haven't seen the best beat of it. I also came across a video clip and I would love so much to play it to you. 
And then you also have a chance, an opportunity to just tell me what are your thoughts about this. <laughs> that look, y'all want to know what I call this photo? <laughs> I call it the, you don't even know it. Because <laughs> see, by the looks of this photo, Mother Marco was done. Mother Marco was over it. Mother Marco had already said, I ain't never coming back. I ain't never fooling with these people again. <laughs> and they don't even know it. <laughs> Whatever happened to Mother Markle leading up to the Queen's funeral or at the Queen's funeral, <laughs> that look on her face says it all right there. She said in her mind she ain't never coming back. And she's been starving the UK and that family over there ever since. And I love that for them. <laughs> you see, I can only imagine what Mother Markle must have felt in this picture. I mean, I could only imagine the ice cold feelings that she felt while this funeral service was going on, or during the entire visit. So, you know what? Mother Marco internalized that and said, you know what? <laughs> energy matched. And baby, she been matching that energy ever since, baby. Oh, she been starving them so bad that they are now mad at her because she won't come over there. Why? It's okay for you to belittle, mentally abuse this woman for seven plus years, and you think she's supposed to keep taking it lying down? Mother Marco said, <laughs> wrong woman wrong woman my name ain't mm. but you know what <laughs> you keep doing what you're doing mother please show me the way show me to how to re that's one thing they need to get straight you know what she ain't coming back they lost her and they shouldn't have any expectations of having her back i bet the picture and the lady just explaining it was like you know what she was done she was long, long done. Of course, she can't stop, you know, her husband from going to visit the UK. That's his home ground. That's where he was born and raised. But you know what? The media outlets having hopes that, you know what, Duchess Megan will be back soon so that they can get the whole uh, time, a lot of them just trashing, trolling, creating up lies. Speaking about her fashion in the name of probably she came just to showcase her fashion. Just like what they did with her during the Invictus game last year. Turned a whole story to make it as if Duchess Megan had come for a fashion show. But that's her. Her being stylish, her being the best, having the best fashion sense. This is something that she's heard. I can say all her life, you know. Because ever since she got there. We all can tell, can trust the growth and the fact that she never misses out. Tells you that this thing she didn't start it just the other day. It's something that she grew up with, probably. But either way, it's very much evident that they miss her so much. But who knows? Probably they're missing her because they want to use or take that advantage on just continue gaining or earning a penny out of them writing thousands and thousands of articles about her because that's one thing they've gotten better in doing i don't know what are some of your thoughts about all this just let me know down below hoping to see you guys in our next videos